how Tenubu hurriedly appointed APC members as top INEC staff when tenure of current officer has not expired. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. A report has revealed how President Bola Tunubu hurriedly appointed a member of his party as a top staff of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, when the tenure of the current officer had not expired. According to reports by the Independent President Bola Tunubu, erred with the appointment of Mr. Etekimba Omaran as the resident electoral officer of INEC, from Akwaibom State, when the current REC from the state, Mr. Udo Tom, has at least three months to the end of his five years tenure. Mr. Udo Tom currently served as the Delta State REC, as SINEC regulations do not allow REC and national commissioners to serve in the states of origin. It was also found that Mr. Omaran nomination subsequent confirmation but his Senate was illegal as he was a member of Mr. Tenubu's political party, the All Progressive Congress, APC, and a long-term ally and loyalist of the Senate President, Gotswil Apabio. This is contrary to paragraph 14, item F of the third schedule of the 1999 Constitution, which specifically dictates that partisan persons shall not be appointed to the Electoral Commission. However, Tunimbu and the 10th Senate under Akbabu defied the constitutional powers to nominate and hurriedly confirm Mr. Omorun and Isa Ishaka, the REC from Edo State. Now, this is what I'm going to say. Make everybody take a GPU. Now, if this particular news is true, why is this flying around? Why, for goodness sake? Now, wow. Ha. Now, they're saying... Tenubu hurriedly appointed APC members and stop INEC staff. When tenure of current officer, I'm saying, why would he, anyway, I will not say why would he do that, but I'm saying, why was he allowed? Why was he permitted to continue doing that? That is one thing about our dubious politicians. They are always planning for elections, stack money and occupy key positions for elect for elections that are built for many years to come so as to impose themselves and the people undemocratically. Hmm. I've said it several times, some people will kill themselves because of Tunumbu. Uh -uh. Then they play Nigerians. Then they play with Nigerians. Jungle was so mature, everybody's watching from close quarters. Okay. Only God can tell me well, only God has the final say. Yes, so. Bahari said that Babun and Dog would swear with the blood, with blood if nonsense happen again. Maybe what Bahari said will come to pass. Empty threats since all these years. I did love for now they look at the threads in Bahari now. It's not easy on you people. One day you will still get issues to the same at the same court. You won't get justice. See as they talk as if you don't chop three square meal today. <laughs> oh, goodness. If you never chose to scare me, now you see your film on a loving person. Ah, okay. I beg, okay. That is what we we'll call criminality and rascality of the highest order. APC do or die because of the money they want to loot from Nigeria's treasury. But one thing is sure the stolen money will fail. One thing I know is that karma will surely deal with some people before they Of course, no, no matter how white they become. No matter how white they become. Huh. Huh. Whipping and waiting and gnashing of teeth is eight years. Nothing's for it. Keep wasting time on social media. That is how you'll be making false allegations and propaganda. Till another four years will come and you will fail again and then you'll be accusing others as an architect of your misfortune, maintain your king on land. How now? <laughs> eight years is not forever. Buhari has come and failed himself for eight years. 
So the most start falling from May 19th when he, re he put the rich and poor in bed together. <laughs> All right. All right, Buhari has come to tell himself for Elijah, eight years. Tenbo start falling from May 29th. He started falling from May 29th and when he put Richard and Paul in pain. Let us always try our constitution. Why are we paying the judges if we are going to... Why are we going, paying the judges if we are going to be running away from a court? If the business is... If the business or anyone for that matter Ed and Lord, sue them, sue the president, sue the, <laughs> sue the president for the mistake of acting in error by appointing new REC. REC must, when he ought not know him, he must follow the, the laws of our land. <laughs> okay. They have a country in their hands now and they cannot run it away like that. Or do I say they think so? Which one is the air? They are ever free but one day. Go to call it to challenge, just to call current to challenge, to challenge appointment. The best of what APC did to Pari was president and they appointed Mahmoud Yakubu as INEC chairman and other INEC officials before 2023 general election. This leads to the compromise of flaws to be natural and electing food. All right. This is what ABC did when Buhari was president and appointed Muhammad Mahabu as the INEC chairman and other INEC officials. Mahmoud Jakubu as INEC chairman and other INEC officials before 2023 general elections. This lead to compromise and flaws we have during 2023 elections. INEC supposed to be a neutral and certain government who is varying for re-election. That is not right to happen, electoral officers. Sincerely. Please let lawyers and activists change the nomination and confirmation of Mr. Omar in court instead of talking about it only on social media. Wow. Though I know it's people's opinion, especially of that, that person and opinion of such person makes democracy beautiful my question is what about river state my river state people will answer for themselves all right on this note you have come to the end of the news we say thank you for turning in to listen until i come your way next time enjoy the rest of your day